Hello. In this episode we will describe the internal structure of an LCD screen. The understanding of the internal architecture of this kind of display allows to better understand the role of the TCON board. The term LCD is an abbreviation of liquid crystal display. The screen is sometimes called panel. The LCD screen is made of an assembly of several layers. The materials used are glass, liquid crystal, metals and dielectrics. The dielectrics are materials which do not conduct electricity but let pass the electrostatic forces. The glass used must not have any geometrical defect. Its thickness is less than 1 mm. It must not contain ions to facilitate the passage of light. The glass used has a high silica content. An LCD screen contains two glass plates. The liquid crystal is a state of matter intermediate between the crystal and the liquid. On the molecular level, in the crystal, the molecules are arranged in an orderly fashion. In the liquid state, the molecules are not arranged in an orderly fashion. The molecules have a random orientation. They are in constant motion. In a liquid crystal, the molecules are in an intermediate state between the solid and the liquid state. The molecules do not have a positional order but keep an orientational order. Chemically, the liquid crystal is made of organic molecule, that is to say a molecule which contains carbon and hydrogen. In this molecule, a part is flexible. It is that which is responsible for the fluidity of the crystal. There is a rigid part. It is called mesogen. Here an example of liquid crystal. The MBBA. Liquid crystals are classified according to the orientation and arrangement of the molecules. We distinguish three classes, the smectics. The molecules are arranged in parallel layers. The cholesteric. The molecules are arranged in the form of a helix. The nematic. The molecules are oriented in the same direction, without forming layers. They have disordered positions but their orientations are ordered. In the LCD screens called under the abbreviation TN, it is a liquid crystal of nematic type in the shape of helix which is used. TN it is the English acronym of twisted nematic. TN LCD screens are the simplest to manufacture and have a low manufacturing cost. The liquid crystal is enclosed between the two glass plates. To maintain the spacing between the two glass plates, we place holding balls to keep a uniform spacing between the two plates of a few micrometers. In order for the liquid crystal molecules to adopt the helix shape, an additional layer is created called an anchoring layer. It is made of a chemical substance belonging to the polyimide family. It is an insulating and transparent substance. Grooves are created by friction. On one of the glass plates, the grooves are oriented vertically and on the other the orientation of the grooves is horizontal. The liquid crystal molecules will orient themselves horizontally in contact with the layer having the grooves in the same direction. On the other plate, the molecules will be turned 90 degrees and will have a vertical direction. Between the two extreme molecules, the other liquid crystal molecules will take an intermediate orientation. When a nematic liquid crystal is subjected to a potential difference through two electrodes, a modification of the light intensity is observed. Thanks to this reversible property, we can control the intensity of the light at the exit of the liquid crystal. This variation allows a passage of the light beam completely, partially or not at all. It is this property that is used in liquid crystal display panels. This property is also used to control the transparency of windows as in this demonstration. A liquid crystal display does not emit light. It is a passive device. It is necessary to send a light from the back to the front. Hence the name of back light. This mode of lighting is called transmissive. It is different from the reflective lighting. The screen in this case works with the reflection of the external light. We find this type of screen for example in watches or calculators. In a schematic way, the light is an electromagnetic wave. It has two components, a magnetic field and an electric field. Each field has a direction called vector. One is vertical and the other horizontal. The magnetic field is perpendicular to the electric field. When this light passes through a polarizing filter only one of the components will pass through. If the polarizing filter is vertical only the vertical component of the light will pass through. If the polarizing filter is horizontal, only the horizontal component of the light will pass through it. If we now put in series two filters turned at 90 degrees, one vertical and the other horizontal, the light does not pass anymore. It is blocked. Historically, before the advent of LCD technology, the display was produced by scanning the screen vertically and horizontally with an electron beam. 
The point of intersection between the two beams was called pixel. Nowadays, this technology is no longer used. It is replaced by the liquid crystal display commonly called LCD screen. The LCD screen is subdivided into a multitude of small squares. Each square is a pixel. The pixels are arranged in a matrix and formed at the intersection of rows and columns. Each pixel displays one color at a time. The number of pixels depends on the display resolution of the screen. The more pixels there are, the sharper the image. The screen can be composed of millions of pixels in height and width. The set of pixels will form the image of the screen. As we have just said, the pixel is the smallest element of a screen or a device to display or detect an image. In reality, a pixel of a digital image is made up of three sub-pixels with the following three colors, red, green and blue. To control each pixel individually, it is necessary to integrate electronic circuits into the liquid crystal display. Thus an LCD screen, depending on its resolution, can contain millions of special transistors, known under the abbreviation of TFT. It is the English acronym of Thin Film Transistor. Their schematic representation is like a MOSFET. There is a gate, a source and a drain. In addition to the transistors, there are several conductive tracks and capacitors. The term TFT LCD thus refers to the type of technology used in the manufacture of the screen. In front of the liquid crystal, there is a conductive plate with all the tracks connected together. The tracks are connected to the drains of the TFT transistors. We consider this conductive plate as the equivalent of a single DC electrode or common electrode. On this electrode we find the VCOM which is also called reference voltage. Here is represented the equivalent circuit for a pixel in a TFT LCD screen. Are noted on the electrical diagram, the TFT transistor, the storage capacity of the sub-pixel in the liquid crystal. The latter is noted as a capacitor. Indeed, the cell containing the liquid crystal has the same architecture as a capacitor. There is a double conductive armature separated by an insulator. The inner layer is the insulating material made of polyimide and the outer layer is made of a transparent conductive material based on ITO. The cell enclosing the liquid crystal is considered as a parasitic capacitor connected in parallel with the storage capacity of the subpixel. The material used in the manufacture of electrical tracks has the particularity of being electrically conductive and is transparent and colorless in thin layer. If this condition were not met, a non-transparent material would obstruct the passage of light. The metal used is a mixture of 90% indium oxide and 10% tin oxide. This material is better known under the name of ITO which is the abbreviation of indium tin oxide. To transform the white light emitted by the backlight into color, a colored filter is placed on the outer face of the front glass. This filter is made from a resin in which is included pigments in suspension colored in red, green and blue. In order to improve the contrast, a black band is added between each of the colors. The black network between the colors can be obtained with oxidized chrome. With the three primary or basic colors that are, red, green and blue, we can obtain white or any other color. The absence of color gives black. The operation which consists in combining several colors in order to obtain a new color is called the additive synthesis. Yellow, magenta and cyan are called secondary colors. One names, complementary color, that it is necessary to add to a secondary color to obtain white. Example for yellow, the complementary color is blue because the mixture red plus green plus blue gives white. For magenta, it is green, and for cyan, it is red. Here is a summary of the various layers that make up an LCD screen. As a reminder, the backlight is not a component of the LCD screen. Starting from the back of the screen to the front we find a first vertical light polarizer. Then a conductive layer containing the TFT transistors and capacitors is deposited on a first thin glass plate. A first layer of an insulating material whose surface has been grooved. A layer of liquid crystal trapped between the two glass plates. Then a second layer of an insulating material whose surface was also grooved. Further forward on the second glass plate is deposited a conductive material made of ITO. This layer corresponds to the common electrode. Then is placed the color filter and finally, the second horizontal light polarizer. Goodbye and see you next video.